Welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number 22. Hey, if you want to follow along by downloading this workbook, click on my channel and then click on my college website and you can download this. This has trick 11 to 22. Hey, in this trick number 22, we're going to see how to use the norm dist function to calculate probabilities for a normally distributed uh, population of data. Hey, look at this. We have serial box weight. And if the population data for serial box weight is normally distributed, that means like a bell shape, then you can use this function to calculate the probability that some value lies between two other values. Hey, here's our example. If we want to find the probability that we could pull a box of cereal and get a weight between 305 grams and 300 grams, that's where this function norm disk comes in. Hey. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit here. Here's our picture. This whole area represents probability. All the area under this curve equals 1. The probability between two points, 300 and 305, that probability right there is the probability that we could pull something and get it between these two values. Now, before we do a two-value one, let's scroll down and do this example first. This asks the question, what's the probability that we could pull a box of cereal and get less than 297.5 grams? This is a good example because the probability from negative infinity all the way to this value right here, uh, 297.5, all the area from there all the way to there is calculated from our function, norm s dis, and it always works this way. It goes from negative infinity up to some x value. So let's see how to do this. I'm going to say equals norm dist, norm dist. There's also some other functions for normal distribution, but this is one we're going to use when we have our x, our mean standard deviation. So here it is, our x. We need to click on that. Now wait a second. That looks like some. Uh, a number and some words. I'll show you in just a moment that that, that actually is not. It's just the number 297. So this will it'll work in our function here. That's our x. Then we have to type comma and click on the mean. That's the population mean, 300 grams, comma, and the population standard deviation, 3.5, and then comma. Notice it says cumulative. If we type a 1 here in close parentheses, that 1 says calculate from negative infinity all the way to our x. So when we control enter, you can see the formula up there. There it is, the probability of pulling a, a cereal box and getting a weight less than 297.5 grams is 23.75%. Now, let's go up and do a harder one. But remember, this function always goes calculates error from negative infinity up to our x. Now, we're going to do the uh, probability between two values here. Now, here's the conceptual trick. Since the function always goes from negative infinity up to some x, notice here, all the way to there, that's all that area. Now, if we took the second smaller x, it would calculate the area from here all the way to there. If we take the bigger area and subtract the smaller area, we'll get the difference. So you ready? In this cell right here, C11, I'm going to say equals norm dist, equals norm dist, open parentheses. I'm going to click on the bigger x. We always do the bigger x first, and then we subtract the smaller x. All right here we go. The area for this bigger value, that's that number right there, which is all the area. We put our x, comma, our mean, comma, our standard deviation, comma, our 1 for cumulative, close parentheses. But that's not it. Now we have to subtract the smaller area. So we do minus norm, norm dist. Norm dist. It, we put in our x. Now we need or now we need to put in our x, and that's the smaller x. Always do the bigger x first, then the smaller x. And then comma, mean, comma, standard deviation, comma, one, close parentheses. That formula will take the bigger area and subtract the smaller area and give us the difference, which is between here and here. So the probability of pulling a box of cereal between 305 and 300 grams is 0.423436. Two, seven, four. Hey, let's do another one. 
let's do area between here. Remember, it's always the bigger area minus the smaller area. So here, this example is going to be what's the probability that we can get a box between 300 and uh, 296. Hey, wait a second. A second ago, I told you that's not really a number in words. Click in that cell and look up in the formula bar. Hey, that's the number 296. I don't see no grams there. Watch this. This is formatting how you add a word, even though it's not really in the cell. Click in that cell and Control-1. Control-1 is the keyboard shortcut for format cells. If you click on the Number tab, Custom, you can see that's all there is to it. You have your number format, like 0, 0.00, and then put whatever you want, word you want, in quotes. And it will show up as grams, but it's really not. It's just the number. That's how you can use, in a formula, that cell, because it's really just 296 in that cell. Hey, let's do our two areas equals norm, norm dist. It wants the bigger x first, comma, and then the mean, comma, the standard deviation for the population, comma, and 1, which is cumulative. So that one's going to go all the way to there. Now we got a minus, minus norm norm dist and you want to click on the smaller x first and then comma mean comma standard deviation comma one for cumulative close parentheses notice bigger area minus smaller area bigger area minus smaller area control enter there's your answer the probability of pulling a box between those two values is 0.37 hey Let's do one last one. We did between two and then we did below. Now let's do the above. If you want to find the probability that a box of cereal weighs more than 302.8 grams, since all the area is 1, if we calculate this area right here, which is from 0 up to our x, and subtract it from 1, boom, we'll get the upper end. Click in the cell equals 1 minus norm dist, norm dist. And I'm going to click on my x. Remember, this norm dist will calculate the area from here up to there. Comma, mean, comma, standard deviation, comma, 1 for cumulative, close parentheses. By the way, if you put a 0 in there, it'll calculate just the probability associated with just that individual value. But here, this 1 minus the area here will give us the probability that it's greater than 302, and it's 0.21185539. All right, that's a little bit about the norm dist function. We'll see you next Excel trick.